Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Chris and I am the Tech Talk Doc. Today we're going to be talking about a video I've done before in the past. And there's been a lot of good results, but some people still have questions and have frustrations. And that's how to connect your Windows 11 PC, laptop, whatever it may be, wirelessly to a Samsung Smart TV. Now, keyword Smart TV, you got to have a Smart TV. And you have to have certain things in your PC or laptop. So let's start by looking at the important things you have to have before you even get started. These are the must have features. First and foremost, how to tell if my Samsung TV or any TV for that matter can accept wireless connection from my Windows 11 PC. I'm using Windows 11 here, okay? So we need to see if this PC has what it requires in order to send a wireless signal to the TV, the TV accept it, and we can project it over there. First, remember, wireless display. That means we both need to be on a wireless network, and that is the same wireless network. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ensure that I'm on a wireless network. So let me go here, and let me go to Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is off. Let me turn it on, all right? And let me go to my Wi-Fi network, okay? So I'm connecting to my Wi-Fi network on here. We're connected securely, it says. All right, the next step is on my TV, I'm going to go and use wireless. I've been using hardwire on the TV, so I'm gonna switch it to wireless. Otherwise, it just won't work. All right, so we know we're on the same wireless network, the TV as well as the computer. But now I need to see if I have the technology or the Microsoft Wi-Fi direct virtual adapter that's necessary and it may show a couple it may show none if you have none then you're not capable of doing it if it shows multiple don't worry about it so let's go over to here and I want to type in command CMD go to the command prompt all right that's gonna open up the command prompt here so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and type in I P config all And what you'll notice is that we have the wireless LAN adapter, local area connection three and four. And this is the Microsoft Wi-Fi direct virtual adapter three and four. I don't care about how many there are. I just care that they're actually here detected. All right, so I know I have it. Now what I wanna do is I wanna right click on my desktop right here. I wanna to go to display settings gonna open up display settings you'll see that I have two displays here this is one and since this is a 49 inch Samsung um, monitor it gives me two displays as two separate displays all right so let's go down and see multiple displays let's go all the way down to we see detect other display connect to our wireless display all right so we can hit detect, they can find any display. We wanna to connect to a wireless display, all right? Now, common sense tells me if I go to hit connect to a wireless display and the TV doesn't show up, well, possibly the TV doesn't have the capabilities. It's, you know, Samsung says after 2013 that if your TV was built after 2013, it should have those capabilities. So check with your manufacturer of your TV but I'm gonna hit connect to a wireless display and it's gonna look for available displays, okay? And my display is the Samsung Office display. I'm gonna hit this right now. It's also picking up my bedroom. And it says connecting. And allow connect to a TV device. Absolutely, we'll allow that. So we're connecting to the computer now. And this is the third device. You can see the mouse up in the corner there. So let me switch back over here to show you 
that we have it extending. And to make it even better, let me show you how far the distance, it's not that far, but we're working there. And this is our third display, right? So you can see what we're working on, we're extending one, two, and three. So to reiterate, remember, you gotta make sure that your computer is capable of connecting to the TV and the TV is capable of connecting to the computer. You need to make sure that Wi-Fi is enabled on both the TV and on the computer and that you're on the same Wi-Fi network. But most of the Samsung TVs after 2012, 2013 have that capability. If you still have any questions, please comment, send me a message, I'll help you through it. But this works beautifully. I've not ever had a problem. Uh, but ensure you have the right technology. Please like, please share, and please subscribe if you have not yet. Happy New Year.